Hey guys, Bill here. Um, yeah, part two of our series, you know, uh, this one is working with architects and designers and just kind of how to go navigate that process. So we've worked with quite a few architects and designers over the years um, and kind of just discussing the roles of what that might be. Um, the, the biggest question we get all the time is how much is only going to cost? And of course, the cliche answer is it depends, but it does. Um, based on it, many times I can get into trouble or that the architect or designer can get into trouble because we really don't understand the scope of work that the client wants. Um, that being said, uh, there are a lot of pitfalls with designers and architects um, and just kind of like the realistic planning process that we go through. So I've mentioned it quite a few times, like we are a design build firm. Um, it's what we do. It, you'll probably hear that term thrown around a little bit. I, it's going to become very popular, I think, in the next five to 10 years, and most people are going to end up doing it. Um, so anyway, the, the kind of the pitfalls is that um, as a general contractor of a design build firm, like we handle a lot of the, the money, right? The, the subcontractors or materials, um, speaking with different vendors, all that. So we have it really ingrained just how much things are going to cost. Um, I'll give you guys a quick story. Okay. Uh, we had a client that reached out to us, um, for a couple of different things. One of them was a kind of a guest house and then to do a, a pretty massive, um, renovation of their existing house. Um, the guest house would have been on the same property. So anyway, they, an architect told them that this renovation is going to cost 1.2 million. Um, Sounds like a really healthy budget, right? <laughs> and 1.2 million is a lot of money. Um, but after meeting with the client, going over the plans, I kind of had a sinking feeling in my stomach um, based on the scope of work. And, and this is all very high end. Uh, we're not talking about a budget remodel. Um, it, it was a two to $3 million renovation. And it, it, it just... And I, you have that feeling in your gut and you feel like an awful person for telling somebody that, but I can't do it for 1.2 without losing money before I even start. And if I was to go into that, you know, renovation, I'd be lucky if I didn't go bankrupt. Um, it, it's just one of those things that's just not realistic for what these clients wanted. It'd be one thing if they wanted to go ahead and do a portion of what the plans were, um, but it wasn't the case. So they were expecting to get this entire thing done for that. Um, so yeah, it, it sucks. It's not fun, but there have been many, many times over the last few years that this happened to us and they get an unrealistic, you know, number for somebody. Um, I'm not saying that person's a bad person. They just maybe don't know any better. Um, you know, their primary, you know, profession is to go ahead and build a beautiful thing and you know give people dreams you know for their home and unfortunately dreams cost money so and it's not a so something like that that's that custom it's not cheap um so it's one of the things and it's one of the things i always try and tell people is just get a get a professional estimate um from somebody it doesn't have to be us but if you do get it from us that you're going to pay for this professional estimate and you'll have exactly what it is the scope of work and what you're getting um we we do charge for that. It does take a lot of time on our end to go back and forth with your you know with yourself, with the vendors, with the subcontractors, to give you guys some firm numbers and to sharpen our pencil. Um, again, like for that house, I could say it's going to be between two and three million. Well, what does that really mean? You know, it, it wasn't one point two million or whatever that was. Um, it was way more than that. But to really give them a firm number that we have to do our due diligence and go ahead and really dive deep into what they want. Um, and unfortunately, it just didn't work out. But that is one of the things 